peanut butter with glitter on it. Who made these? Hey everybody, welcome to Ty's 35, episode number 17, item number 17, and I'm excited for a couple reasons. Number one, it's about food again, right? I love food. My marketer called me chubby. She says, all your Ty's 35 were, were revolved around food. I'm like, I love to eat and party my way to the top with all my sphere of influence people. So, I mean, that's just what happens. So, number one, I'm excited because it has to do with food. Number two, I'm excited because I looked at item number 16 and realized it's been a year since I've done this. And so we're gonna make an initiative to really give you guys these things. I know why I stopped doing them, because you guys all got caught up in, ooh, the flashy stuff. And I wanted you to say, hey, take the items and implement them. Let me see you guys implementing these. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about cookies. Who doesn't love cookies? I'm telling you, anytime someone delivers me cookies, whether it be one or 10, I can't stop and I eat them all. Now, here's what you're gonna do. When you represent your buyers, before it closes, I would have my assistant make 40, 60, 80, 100 cookies, right? And she'd package them just like this here in this example. Nice little package, simple. Cookies are very cheap to make, especially if you hand make them. And what you do is you go out to the house where you sold your buyer house to a week prior and you door knock, my friends. And you go and knock on the door and you say, hi, I'm the realtor who sold the house right over there. I'm super excited. I want to give you some cookies. By the way, you're going to love the buyer who's coming. It's a this and a that, right? Husband, wife, team. They've got a dog. There are millennials. They love this area for X, Y, and Z reasons. I've been working for them for a while. I just like if you'd introduce yourself. They are so cool. You're going to really like, great, next office, next door, next door, next door, next door. And you go door to door until you hit 20 to the left and 20 to the right, or 10 to the left, 10 to the right, 20 behind, you have to do 40 guys. You have to do 40 in order for this to be effective. Now, let me tell you what happens when you do this. Number one, right? You might find somebody who wants to buy or sell. You will, trust me, it's happened. Now, does it happen every time? No. Did it happen a lot when I did this? Absolutely. Number two, if you're farming an area, which a lot of you always talk about how you have a farm and you farm this area, this is a way for you to get into your farm and actually talk with people. Talk with the people that are in your farm that you are the expert in, right? So number two. The third thing, I'm telling you, this is the biggest takeaway and the biggest reason I did it, right? Everything's not all about getting business, although you hope to get business in doing it. But for me, I would always get calls from my buyer. Tyler, I've gotten so many people to come by and introduce themselves. I'm so glad, right? I'm so glad we moved this area. You were right, it is a great area for my family and I, right? That's what I got, I got those calls, folks. And so what happens, I want you to think about this. Sit back and think about if you bought a brand new house, right? And you moved into it and you had neighbors come and introduce themselves and say, you know what? Guess what, your realtor told us that you know you, you moved here and you have a daughter and I have a daughter and we, they should play or you have a dog, there's a dog park right here, all this. Imagine if that was you and how you would feel. One, you'd feel great and welcome, a warm welcome to the neighborhood, but two, you'd feel like, you know what, Tyler did a great job. You know, Tyler, he exceeded my expectations. Tyler did great, Tyler did great. He's gonna, everything again is about you and showing that you care. Remember, we have to provide value to our clients. Ties 35 exists because I wanted my client to give me repeat and referral business. And I wanted to ask them where they felt like they could and they felt guilty to give me business. And these are the items that make you feel, make your client feel that you care about them. We always wanna do things after it closes, when a commission check's in our pocket, and guess what? This is what you're doing prior and you're getting the after effect. This is the after effect Ties 35. So what I recommend is to do this. Those of you who are representing a buyer right now, plan, right? Plan, you don't wanna be up till midnight cooking cookies, right, the day of. Plan, go get cookies. It's cheap to make cookies if you wanna buy them because you have a bigger budget, wonderful. Buy the cookies, make the cookies, package them, and then go truly knock the doors. You should have no fear of knocking doors. It's a great time to see these people. Celebration. I just sold this house, you're gonna love these people, here's some cookies. You're not saying, hey, do you wanna buy or sell? You're saying, I want you to go meet these people because they're great. So you should have no fear of knocking these doors. It's a great reason to reach out. And, uh, and make it happen, you know, do this for every single buyer. Make this part of your 2017 initiation plan. And uh, yeah, execute, that's it my friends. I'm real excited for you. Um, I'm real excited for the new year. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've done these ties 35. I'm super excited to get back into it. I'm just excited overall. Have a great time with this. Ciao.